the 75th birthday of the United States Air Force. Now, there are more than 50 active duty Air Force bases across the country now, including, of course, MacDill Air Force Base in Tampa. But here's something you may not know. As Fox 13's Lloyd Sauer shows us, MacDill actually predates the Air Force. This is the oldest uniform that we have. Stephen Ovi's office is a mini museum of the artifacts and articles collected over the decades at Tampa's MacDill Air Force Base. This is a refueling door. These are, are, are actually our archive newspapers for the base. Black uh, service members served here during the war and during the segregation. Now, this is a World War II quarterly magazine that was designed here at the base. This is a yearbook for the 305th Bombardment Wing. It's a valuable, invaluable resource today. We know everybody that was assigned to the wing at that particular time and what their life was like. It's Stephen's job to stay on top of all things past and present at McDill. He is the wing historian. We keep the record of what happens on the base day by day. We also deploy to combat zones and collect the records of the Air Force as, as history happens. And we use that to uh, inform decision making in the future and learn from our past mistakes. This year, the Air Force is celebrating 75 years. We call it the Air Force's birthday, but it was created under the National Defense Act of 1947, and it was really designed to create independent and equal branches for the Army, the Air Force, and the Navy. Everyone realized during World War II the power of airplanes to decide battles before they're even fought, but they had to wait until after the war was concluded. But MacDill is actually older than the Air Force. It was actually created in 1935 under the Wilcox Act. It was one of the perimeter defensive bases for the United States. Southeast Air Base was its original name. We weren't really a global power at the time. We were very much a regional power. At the end of World War II, it was positioned to be one of the uh, nuclear uh, bomber bases, basically one of the first seven in the United States Air Force that was independently created in uh, 1947. This is Colonel Leslie McDill. He's the namesake of the base. And he was one of the early uh, innovators uh, and also one of the early leaders of the Air Force. McDill was specifically designed and built on this peninsula because it had overland approaches to three different runways. So we could put so many thousands of World War II aviators through their paces and give them realistic uh, scenarios for flying. And one of them is the ship everyone has been pulling for. The iconic aircraft, the Memphis Bell, was at one point used for training on what was then known as MacDill Field. A lot of people know its uh, role during World War II as the first bomber and its first integrated crew to survive 30 combat missions over occupied Europe. Return to America to train new crews. It spent almost all of its World War II career actually here at McDill Field for two and a half years after it completed the war bond tour. There's a replica on base. You'll see it right outside the front gate on Dale Mabry Highway. And even that well-traveled road plays a big role in McDill's history. Dale Mabry actually himself a World War I aviator. The two of the largest bases were at Drew Field, which is now Tampa International Airport, and then McDill Field, which is now McDill Air Force Base. The Army Corps of Engineers designed and built a road to connect those two. That's nailed Mary Highway today, of course. More than 75 years later, MacDill Air Force Base is not only guiding the future as the home of special operations and central command, but much like the Memphis Bell, it's a symbol of perseverance. It's also been slated for closure twice in its past, and both times it survived because it became essentially indispensable to the big picture of our national defense. I suspect if it's anything like the last 75 to 80 years, we'll see more consolidation on fewer bases, and McDill will probably only continue to increase in importance. Lloyd Towers, Fox 13 News. Wow. Yeah, you can't really state enough how important McDill is to the Tampa Bay area. So many families call Tampa yes. home because the Air Force brought them here. They saw that they liked living here. They, mm -hmm. they moved back and it's uh, an intrinsic part of our community. It absolutely is and it's so interesting to hear about the history and then to see that Memphis Bell plane, how that whole front yeah. nose of it was just Those open. guys were just looking down from 30,000 feet. Yeah, pretty crazy. Wow. Uh, the Air Force's theme for its 75th anniversary is innovate, accelerate, and thrive. And McDill is celebrating how else with an Air Force ball.